Hi friends, welcome to Non-Functional Club. In this session, we'll be discussing about how to download and install Android Studio. So we have got lots of queries around Android Studio. It is a simple process. We'll go through it. We'll be installing Android Studio on a Windows 10 machine. So first of all, we'll be installing it and then we'll be having a basic overview of components which are present as a part of Android Studio. So let's begin. So let's see the process of first downloading Android Studio. So you can just type in Android Studio download and go to the first link itself. When you open the link, you'll get this particular page that is developer.android.com studio. So here you can directly click on download. You can just check in the terms and conditions and click on download. So you can see the file has started to download. So it is a huge file kind of 872 MB file. So currently what I'll do, I'll just pause this as I have already downloaded this and we'll navigate to that particular folder where I have the file which is downloaded. So here I have downloaded this. I'll just double click on the application file. We'll just go through the process of Android Studio installation. So here you can just click on next. I'll just keep everything default and we can click on install. Once you click on install, obviously the extraction of jars and installation will be carried out. We'll have to be patient till the files are downloading and extracted. Just click on next. And as the checkbox is already clicked to start Android Studio, I'll click on finish. Now automatically Android Studio should launch. We'll wait for it. And this is the icon for Android Studio. If you open it, we'll see the whole console of Android Studio. You'll see there are certain activities which are going on. Here there would be some patches and files which gets downloaded if those are not currently present. So we'll let it download. And there will be many background activities which will be carried out. So for now, we'll ignore that. Uh, obviously, if you go through the console, you have the file system. Then we have the edit section, view section. And all the important sections or all the important stuff which we usually use. Like, for example, if we are using <clears throat> the profiler section, if we click on it, Right now, my particular AVD is launched Android virtually. I'll just close it for a while. If we just click on this particular profiler, you will see the Android profiler section has been opened. So we'll be looking into how we are going to use Android profiler for the performance testing of uh, application. We'll go through it in detail later. We have app inspection section. We have the terminal section. There are many things which are inclined with Android Studio we'll be getting here. So this is a simple video of to give you an idea how we, we usually install the Android Studio. If you click on this particular link, this is AVD Manager. If you hover through the icons, you will be getting what all stuff or what all sections are present here. So this is your SDK Manager. All the Android SDKs which are installed are present here. 
and if you want to install the other SDKs, you can definitely just have a click on it and uh, it will ask you to download or apply and that will be downloaded. So this whole activities can be done. This is all one in all in one tool which can be used by developers and quality assurance engineers or mobile application testers. It's a very good tool to actually use. If we want to launch the AVD manager, we can just click here and the AVD manager will be launched. So we'll get in details of how to create the devices as it here it is created and how we launch it in the next video. So this is about basically about installing or downloading the Android Studio and installing it on in the same. So this is basically done on a Windows machine. This is Windows 10 machine on which I have downloaded. So this was about the process of installing Android Studio. In the next session, we'll be discussing about how to create and launch Android virtual device that is AVD. Hope this session was useful. Don't forget to subscribe non-functional club channel. Thank you.